Hey guys, my name is Ivir and today is all about jewelry. First, I'll be going through my philosophy on jewelry in general, and then I'll show you my full collection and talk a bit about each piece. What I love the most about jewelry is the way it enhances your uniform. Personally, you'll be seeing me wear the same jewelry every single day. I just love seeing people live in the same stuff every single day as it then becomes a part of their identity. So all of the jewelry that I'm wearing is very much a part of me. Usually I like to keep my rings on the far side of each hand or the bottom if you will. Uh, so only my ring finger and my pinky. And I wear a total of six rings on the four fingers. It's very important to me not to be over accessorized so I only have a few things on my wrists. First off we have this insane coin bracelet that I'll be talking a bit about later. Then we have a watch and a thinner bracelet. To balance things out a bit. Then on my neck I wear this simple silver necklace and overall it's really important for me to have good quality jewelry. I wear only 925 sterling silver rings and bracelets and the watch is stainless steel and apart from the sterling silver I also wear my gold rings and I'll get into those a bit later on. And yeah whoever said mixing metals is wrong they are out of their mind. I love mixing metals. And then some people have asked me where I get my jewelry. Usually I go to antique shops or vintage shops or even some Sunday markets. Antique shops are probably my favorite though as that's where I found most of my favorite pieces. But yeah, let's get into the jewelry. I'll show you my full collection and I'll talk a bit about each piece. But let's get into the rings first. We have, like I said, six rings on four fingers. So I stack these two and these two. The silver jewelry that I'm wearing is from a brand that my friend owns. It's called Demba Oslo and everything is handmade in Gambia. He has a factory down there and it's really cool to see the amazing stuff that he does. The gold jewelry is old family heirlooms, if you will, and I absolutely love these. This one is my dad's old confirmation ring from the 60s. And these two are my mom's old rings, gold as well. I don't know when she got them, but they're absolutely incredible. But yeah, don't be afraid to mix your metals. And then we had three rings that I wear on much rarer occasions. First up, we have another one of my mom's old gold rings. This is both white and yellow gold. Love this as well, but it just doesn't really fit into my uniform as well. Then we have two other sterling silver rings. They are much more avant-garde and much more organic, if you will. I love them. I just think that to wear them, I need to have more because now I only have the two and it looks a bit simple. It's a bit too simple. Then on my wrist, we're starting off with this bracelet, also from Demba Oslo. This is incredible. Like I said, handmade in Gambia. Really cool. I got this because I did a project for them. But yeah, it's worn like this or like this. Personally, I definitely prefer it to be like this. Much Looks much more cool. And yeah, check out Demba Oslo. They do incredible stuff. And then we have the two bracelets that I wear together if I'm not wearing the coin bracelet that I'll be talking about. And it's this name bracelet thing that is from the 30s, I believe. People were supposed to engrave their names in this one. Hasn't been done on this, which I'm kind of happy about. So now it's just completely empty. Love it. I usually pair it with this simple sterling silver bracelet as I want a bit more weight to my wrist. And then of course the coin bracelets, this is absolutely insane. I actually bought it just because of the bracelet itself. So I was considering taking the coins off, but then when I got home, I was like, yeah, this is way too cool to separate. Insane. They dangle a lot, look super cool, hang over my hands, really cool. The oldest coin is actually from 1898. So this is super, super old. And yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces. And then we have the only watch that I own. I'm not a big watch guy, but I was looking for one with a metal strap. So I found this with a Cuban chain, which is absolutely insane. It's a review sport from the 30s, which is also pretty insane. Still running. I just have to wind it up and it's good to go. What I like a lot about it as well is the fact that the face is yellow, which works so well with the golden jewelry that I wear. Then we have my two necklaces. The longer one I don't really wear that much anymore after I got the shorter one in. It's a Cuban chain. I don't know how old it is, but I found it at an antique shop. So I, yeah, it's probably pretty old. Fits perfectly around my neck, especially this one. And yeah, love it. I love to wear simple necklaces around the neck. Nothing too much as it will just be way too overstyled. Then we have three air cuffs from Tom Wood. The bigger one is in a polished silver. It does get in the way of my AirPods sometimes, which is a bit annoying, but it's still really cool. And then I share these two, which I stack with my girlfriend. They look really cool as I don't actually even have my ears pierced. It's, it is probably gonna happen pretty soon, so that's definitely on my to-do list, but yeah. Then we have a fun one. It's this little pin that looks like a mace. I got this in a random small town in Italy when I was there last summer, and it's so cool to just pair with a shirt. Tiny little thing, 
Still love it. Then we have my absolute coolest piece of jewelry. It's this antique wallet chain that looks exactly like a Chrome Arch wallet chain. So it features both the cross and the same closure as the Chrome Arch one. Even the chain looks like Chrome Arch. But the thing is, this is way older than a Chrome Arch one. This is from the 30s or 40s, so it's definitely similar to something Chrome Arch must have used as a reference piece. I absolutely love this and I got it for 170 bucks, which is way better than buying a Chrome Arch one for 4,000. But yeah, absolutely love this. Wear it with most of my pants. Insane piece. But anyways, guys, that was my whole collection. I hope you learned something from the tips and I hope you got some inspiration for your own jewelry collection. So have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.